there's this concept that I've been thinking about in terms of making content. Uh, it's close, it's just a concept of the expiration of content. Ideas expire, just like food. Uh, and it dawned on me sometime last year when a couple of my friends were just talking about posting Instagram stories and then they don't want to do it fast so that it wouldn't go bad. And they used the term in Indonesian that has a very striking emotional impact on me. It's the term of uh, basi, which means basically to expire. But I think about it in terms of milk <laughs> very vividly. And when milk goes bad, it smells really bad. And that really stuck to me because if content can go bussy and bad like milk, and that means that my ideas can go bad like milk and it'll be very repulsive. And that kind of makes me very um, sensitive to ideas expiring because it'll be repulsive like that. Uh, and so the fact that content can expire like that is just um, a big push to acting on them as fast as I can. And so that was something that I really didn't do much of in my early 20s. And I just captured moments, photos, videos, jotted down ideas, but I never acted on them. And so a lot of them just went to waste and they just went bad like milk. And now they're too far away from my senses to want to pick up on again. And I have no idea if I ever will. I don't know if I will, which is really sad, actually, now that I think about it. This concept came up again recently because I came up on an Instagram reel uh, of one of my favorite creators um, who talked about ideas also expiring and going bad. Uh, and then she replied to a comment that I made based on this very same concept of expiring like food. And, you know, that pushed me to make this video because, uh, you know, this is also an idea that I have in my head. And it'll just go to waste if I don't act on it. So here I am making a video with no setup. I just have a very, very rough like journal script that I wrote while I was on the toilet this morning. Uh, so that's story of why I'm recording. And I feel like ideas like this that do get executed are inherently a thousand times more val valuable than ideas that don't get executed at all because I've had a lot, a lot of like really nice ideas in my head for things to make. Uh, might as well just spit all of them just to put it out there. Like uh, it's a vlog of my marathon training uh, when I was Travel, when I traveled around the world to surprise my parents uh, and also just like recap videos from the past few years that have clips of you know little moments that I record throughout the year you know, those haven't been executed it's been a while since I've done them and you know, this speaking in front of the camera uh, talking about this random idea I had on the toilet uh, is more valuable than those that never get executed. Um, and so it, it all comes to execution, right? And I find that a lot of the content creators that I see that are successful, they make their execution so effortless and things just happen for them. It's, just, it's as if, I saw this quote on one of their stories once, that their personalities and, personalities and identities are fully aligned with what their ideas are, something like that. And so they just do things, they just do the work, and it's effortless for them. There's no friction, and that's something that I struggle to do. So uh, this is what I'm trying to overcome with by recording this, by just overcoming the friction, just using my phone to record, not really setting anything up uh, to make it look nice, and just doing it, because the less effort that goes into it, the more the shorter the gap between your idea and your execution and making it come to life, the less likely it'll, it is to expire and it'll just be out there. So, yeah, that's, that's my shot at this. I um, thought I'd give it a shot 
and finally do something like this. Hello to any subscribers that are around. I know they're out there and here, the real ones. Um, yeah, and I'm curious to see what happens when I actually get this out there.